Julie Lincoln. I'm the senior yoga teacher with Believable Prana, Yoga, and Wellness. With the One City Marathon rapidly approaching, we want to give you a few stretching exercises to help you prepare to run. Yoga greatly benefits runners. It can help balance strength, increase range of motion, and sync breathing. While running the average mile, you may take about a thousand steps. The impact on each of your feet is about three to four times your body weight. So it's not surprising when runners complain of bad backs and knees or tight hamstrings. Usually, the pain runners feel doesn't come from running itself, but rather the imbalances that running causes and intensifies. You can find a sense of balance through the practice of yoga, which may allow you to run for years to come. And although yoga and running are vastly different, they are a great marriage of endurance, strength, and flexibility. So let's get started. We're gonna come onto our mats and begin with Downward Facing Dog, or Adho Mukha Svanasana. This pose offers a deep stretch through the calves, hamstring, glutes, and it also loosens up the entire back and shoulders, which are activated during a run too. So you're gonna stretch out onto your mat. Your hands are about shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling and pushing your chest towards your thighs. Keeping a soft bend in your knees, helps protect the low back, especially if you have tight hamstrings, and continue to push the floor away. And you're gonna take about three to five breaths in this pose. From here, we're gonna come into a low lunge or Anjaneyasana. You're gonna take one foot forward, step it between your hands. So you can take your hands to your hips, or you can bring them up towards the sky, breathing deeply here, relaxing the shoulders. This pose is gonna open up your hip flexors, psoas, obliques, and your quads. And from here, we're gonna come into a half split, or Hanumanasana. We're gonna lower the back knee and straighten the front leg by sending the hips back, keeping a soft bend in the knee to protect our knee joint. Flexing the toes back towards your face can help deepen the stretch on the back side of the leg. The benefits of this is gonna open up the hamstrings, the calves, and the Achilles tendon. And last, we're gonna come into a low lunge again, this time with a quad stretch. So rebending the front knee, back knee on the ground, and you're gonna reach back with one hand, and if you can, grabbing that back foot that you are bending towards your glute. And if you can't reach your foot, you can grab a strap. We're getting deeper into the quads, psoas, and hip flexor. Great. And then you'd come back through a downward facing dog and repeat this whole series on your second side. These yoga poses will help you on your journey to more pliable muscles when running. We hope you've enjoyed this session. For more information, visit believableprana.com. Also, come into the studio on Tuesdays for a deep stress class where we will focus on myofascial release through the use of foam rollers and other props. This class is part of the One City Marathon pop-up series. Visit onecitymarathon.com to sign up for those free classes. Again, I am senior teacher Lee Lincoln with Believable Prana Yoga and Wellness. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.